Hi everyone, teacher Andy with another online lesson for those students who were absent from class and missed the lesson. And for those students who were in class, but for whatever reason did not do the work. And for those students who simply want to improve their English by watching the lesson again. Okay, let's go straight into the lesson. Today's lesson is a Minion Chick special, and it is called In the Kitchen. In the Kitchen. Nai Hong Nong. No, Hong Hong Han. No, Hong Trua. Sorry, guys. Not Teacher Andy is useless. In the Kitchen. Uh, Nai Hong Krua. Hong Krua. You don't sleep in the kitchen and you you don't have a, a Hong, Hong Han, I think, is a dining room. Yeah? Anyway, students, on in your notebooks, in your notebooks, please write today's date. Today I was recording it was Friday, the 15th of July, 2022. And then write the heading in the kitchen and in Thai, Nai Hong Kua. Got it? Yes? Very good. Uh, if you haven't finished, please pause the video now. Number one. What is this? What is this? Wow, it looks lots of food in there. Lots of food. It is a Fridge, fridge, or you could say refrigerator, but people don't say refrigerator. They don't say go to the refrigerator. They say go to the fridge, fridge, fridge. So in your notebook, students, I would like you to please draw a picture of a fridge and then write the word fridge in um, English and also in Thai. It's a Thai um Kruang Yen. Is that the Thai word for it? Kruang Yen. But the English word is fridge. So please uh, draw a picture of a fridge. You can either have your fridge open or closed. Uh, fridge in English and also in Thai language like this okay finished yes of course not you know what we got to do students pause the video now and click play when you are ready number two what is this uh, many students in the lesson said microwave it is not a microwave okay this is an oven an oven it's not a microwave it's an oven okay oven for cooking things like um pies or or roast or or, or making bread whatever pies pies bread um roast dinner oven oven so in your notebooks please draw a picture of an oven and write the word oven in english and oven in thai language i'm again i'm not sure what the thai word is for oven and look the temperature here is uh, 450 degrees and I'm guessing that is 13 minutes, the timer, 13 minutes. And there is um, Minnie and Chick in the oven cooking. Yeah, you can use an oven to cook a Minnie and Chick, but not a good, not good thing to do. Okay, students, have you finished? Have you drawn your oven? And written the word oven in English and Thai, yes? Very good. If not, pause the video now. 
Okay, next, number three. What is this? What is this? It looks like uh, he's on the record deck, spinning the records. But it's not. It is a hob. A hob. 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 In your notebooks, you know what to do. Draw a picture of a hob. And then write the word hob in English and also in Thai language. Hob. Hob. Got it? Yeah? Very good. If you haven't finished, please pause the video now and press play when you are ready. Number four, what is this? It is a kitchen sink. 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 In your notebooks, please write the word. So draw the picture of a sink and then write the word sink in English and also in Thai language. And there is the minion chick in the sink. The minion chick is in the sink. I actually think it is quite a difficult one to draw. There we go. My sink with some water from the tap. Sink. Sink. Okay, students, have you finished? No? Of course not. Pause the video now. Press play when you are ready. Number five. Ah, very important for me. Uh, very important to make my cups of tea and coffee. Uh, I have a kettle here. Well, giving you the word, it is a kettle. A kettle. I have a kettle here in the office. Um, when I started working here, one of the first things I did was buy a kettle. Save me going out and uh, buying drinks. I now make tea and coffee using the kettle in the office. Kettle. In your notebooks, please draw a picture of the kettle. Look, there's my kettle. Mine looks like a chicken kettle. Yeah, a kettle in chicken kettle in the kitchen. Kitchen chicken. So kettle, kettle. Draw a picture of a kettle. And then write the word kettle in English and also in Thai language. Thai language. Right. Finished? Yes? No? Pause and then play. And what is this? What is this? Again, there uh, are many, many farangs. Or <laughs> people find it strange when I say farang. Foreigners. Many foreigners in Thailand have one of these. It is a toaster. A toaster. You make toast in a toaster. Yeah? Do you like toast? Everyone likes toast. Do you like your toast? How do you like your toast? Do you like it um, light brown, medium brown, dark brown, or black? How do you like it? One time uh, I was in a hotel in Bangkok and cooking toast in the uh, breakfast room. And my toast, smoke started coming from the toaster and they were panicking. The staff were panicking. And they took my toast out and I put it on my plate. And they were going to throw it away. I said, no, 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 I eat it. I like it like that. It's okay, black. So in your notebooks, please draw a picture of a toaster and then write the word toaster 
in English and also in Thai. I don't know what the word in Thai is, but it's a very, very long word. What is the word for toaster in Thai? Probably cook bread in a machine. <laughs> what is it? I, I don't know. Okay, students, if you have not finished, pause the video now and click play when you have. Okay, now what? What is what are these? What are these? They are kitchen cupboards. 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 Is it king? No, no, that's a shelf. I don't know the word. I don't know. Cupboards. And there is Mr. Minion Chick on a cupboard. I think he's on the fridge, actually. I, I think this is a fridge. But, and also, what is the time? What is the time on the clock? I think it is half past two, 2.30. 2 so in your notebook, students, I would like you to draw a cupboard. But just one cupboard is fine. Draw a cupboard. And then write the word cupboard in English and cupboard in Thai. Not difficult. Not too difficult. Okay, you got it? Yes? Pause the video now, students. And press play when you have finished. Number eight. Oh my gosh. Five little minion chicks in a. What do we call this? What is this? What is this? It is a frying pan. Frying pan. I use a frying pan a lot because I like to cook pancakes. I make English style pancakes. Uh, English style is different to any other country. Uh, in English style, our pancake is very thin and we put lemon juice, manau, uh, nam manau, and sugar on and it is delicious if you have never tried please get your mum or dad to make you pancake and put lemon juice and sugar on you can buy the artificial lemon juice it tastes very good it's very cheap to buy and delicious and the pancake mix is just flour uh, milk egg and a little bit of um, baking soda just a small amount but delicious americans have pancakes they're thicker and they use maple syrup anyway please draw a picture of a frying pan and then write the word frying pan in english and also in thai and here is my frying pan in my frying pan, they are cooking a fried egg. Fried egg. Fried egg. Is fried egg kai or is that omelette? Frying pan. Okay, students, finished? Actually, I think the frying pan is very difficult to draw. Finished, yes? If not, pause the video now. And the last one, number nine, this is the last one. It is another pan, but this is a saucepan, a saucepan. It is deeper, okay, a saucepan. And it has a lid, saucepan. But it's the same word in Thai as frying pan. I think it is in Google. In Google, it is the same word. So in your notebook, students, please draw a picture of a saucepan. And then write the word saucepan in English and in Thai. Just like that. My saucepan is green. For me, not easy to draw. Saucepan. Saucepan. 
Okay, students, please pause the video now and press play when you are ready. And there we go. We have finished again. We are at the end of another lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Until next time, students, thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.